And Dave, we're hearing things got a little heated. They did, Taryn. This all started back on August 10th when a group of people living in Lathrop Village got together at a private home to discuss that council member and it ended then with a call to police. But tonight that discussion continues inside City Hall. I'm here what people have to say to you instead of listening over the fence. This is cell phone video recording Lathrop Village Council member Karen Miller on Wednesday, August 10th. The venue, Lauren Barra's backyard. Barra says the reason for the meeting is Council Member Miller and her campaign promise of rooting out corruption. I don't see her adding anything to Council and I don't see any proof of any of the corruption. So Barra and 16 other like-minded people decided to gather and discuss options. We were talking about recall, recall election, or just strategically planning for the 2023 elections, which ultimately is what we decided to do. She says the meeting was nearing an end. When all of a sudden someone called out, I see you spying on us. And um, Councilwoman Miller came out from behind my neighbor's bushes filming my guests and demanding their names. That's when cameras started rolling. And it just started getting heated. Where's your proof? My neighbor Where's that your I was proof? against Where's your proof? Where is your proof? You Where's your proof? At one point, a man seemingly with Miller is heard threatening to get a weapon. On the, the school board. Don't get a gun, what? sir. Wait, I did what? He just said I'm going in to get a gun. Oh, okay. Let's call the police. Call right? There was a threat of violence and we had to call the police after that. Barra says when police arrived, Miller left. As an elected official, you're not a private citizen saying these things. You're an elected official. Your words in city emails are public record. So with that in mind, Barra and others brought these concerns to the council meeting on Monday. I hope she steps down. I'm going to ask her to step down. Um, it, it was a clear violation of our First Amendment rights. Um, we shouldn't find uh, council people, we shouldn't find our city officials, we shouldn't find our government spying on us. Everything that happened in this event on August 10th is a direct result of Council Member Miller's continuing to make accusations of inappropriate actions toward fellow council members and the city attorney without evidence. At one point, even Miller's own daughters couldn't help but defend their mom. My mom's my hero. She spends her days and nights doing work for other people, her daughters, her friends, her family, her neighbors. This has been hell, to be completely honest. She's doing this because she believes that there's better things to be done in the city of Lather Village. Obviously, there is another side of this story, that belonging to Karen Miller. We tried to talk to her before the meeting. She says because this is an ongoing investigation, she cannot comment at this time. However, she did release a statement after the meeting saying, I had the honor of serving the Lathrop Village and Southfield communities for more than 30 years. I'm committed to this community and representing its res residents, especially those who feel their voices have not been heard in recent years to do that well. I ask tough questions and demand accountability, and I will not stop. I'm hopeful that with the onboarding of Susan Montenegro as our new City administrator, and I will continue to ensure accountability and how the city is moving forward and continuing to ask those tough questions and find solutions. And I'm committed to fostering a safe and fair political process. End quote. Reporting live in Lathrop Village, Dave Spencer, Fox 2 News. Well, Dave, police were called, but is eavesdropping on an outdoor meeting considered illegal? Is there an investigation ongoing? Yeah, there is an ongoing investigation to determine just that. In fact, I spoke with police who say they have kicked this on to the Oakland County Sheriff's Office because it does involve a city official. So they will be the ones handling the investigation going forward.